Goth Math helps with your math. Welcome to Goth Math. In this video, we're going to introduce the perpendicular chord bisector theorem in studying circles. Let's start with a gorgeous circle on the south bank of the River Thames in London, the London Eye. It's right on the opposite of the ancient clock, Big Ben, in this antique but modernized city. Every year, with the first strike of the Big Ben, the giant London Eye would turn into a gorgeous, illuminating circle with fireworks and flaming lights glittered in the dark night. Ignite the New Year's Eve in London with sparkling light. In addition to this beautiful circle, coins, balls, clocks, buttons, tires, dinner plates, ferris wheels, and hula hoops are all real-life applications of circles. But what are circles? In a plane, line segment OA completes a full rotation around its fixed endpoint O. The shape formed by the track of endpoint A is a circle. The fixed point O is called the center. Line segment OA is called the radius. Any line segment whose endpoints lie on the circle is called a chord. The longest chord that passes through the center is a diameter. In any given circle, a chord has its corresponding arc. Any connected portion of a circle is called an arc. Here's its symbol. Arcs can be divided into three types, minor arc, semicircle, and major arc. Any diameter can divide the circle into two semicircles. An arc that is smaller than a semicircle is called a minor arc. An arc that is larger than a semicircle is called a major arc. Two circles that can be completely overlapped are called equal circles, which is to say two circles that have equivalent radii are equal circles. Vice versa. Equal circles have equal radii. Within the same circle or equal circles, two arcs that coincide are called equal arcs. Circles seem to be perfectly regular, as a circle looks exactly the same from every angle. Are circles symmetric? All we need is to prove that the symmetric point about the line of the diameter of any point on the circle also lies on the circle. Suppose CD is a diameter of circle O. A is any point on circle O other than point C and D. From point A, construct a line A, A prime, which is perpendicular to the diameter CD and intersect the circle at point A prime. The intersection point of CD and A, A prime, is M. Connect OA and OA prime. According to the shown proof, points A and A prime are symmetric. If we fold the circle with respect to CD, point A coincides with A prime, while segment AM coincides with A prime M. Arc AC and arc AD coincide with arcs A prime C and A prime D, respectively. That is, the diameter CD bisects the chord AA prime and its arc AA prime and arc ACA prime. And that gives us the perpendicular chord bisector theorem. If a diameter is perpendicular to a chord, then it bisects the chord and the two arcs of the chord. Taking a step further, we can infer that for any diameter bisecting a chord, it must be perpendicular to the chord, and it also bisects the arcs of the chord. According to the principles of architecture, circular buildings perform better in reducing wind resistance, thereby decreasing the chance of wind formation between tall buildings. Besides, circular foundations always tend to be more stable than those of other shapes. Did you feel the charm of circles? Have any other questions about circles? Come and find an expert to help you on our app, Goth Math, Homework Solver, Step by Step.